Starters for the third race, number one, Slide In, owned by Buddy and Buzzy Graham of Salem, trained by Buddy Graham. Buzzy is in the bike. Couple in the wagering is 1A, TC Wyoming, owned by Carol and Buddy Graham of Salem, trained and driven by Buddy Graham. The two is Expeditious Offer, owned by Tom Throgmorton of nearby Carbondale, trained by West Frankfurt's Joe Hott, and Joe is in the bike. Three is New Tucker, owned by Clayton Reed of Barlow, Kentucky, trained and driven by Tom Tietrich. Number four, Insaner, owned, trained, and driven by Jesse J. DeLong of Clinton, Wisconsin. Number five is OG's Ranger, owned by Willie Jones of Jackson, Mississippi. Michael Rogers, the trainer. Ron Marsh is in the bike. Six, BC's Legend, owned by Dr. Peter Karras of Sherman, trained and driven by Adrian Price, Jr. of Whitehall, Illinois. The seven is Get a Real Job, owned by Jerry Robinson of Carrollton, Mike Brink Trains, and Mike Brink of Liberty, Illinois, the driver. Number eight, Immediate Triumph is scratched. Number nine is February 1st, owned by Tom Walker of Carrollton. His son, Sean, is the trainer, and Tom Walker is the driver. Post time on the third race is coming up in only three minutes. Fair cold and gelding trot. And it shows you how tough racing is in this day and age we live in and how competitive when this colt can trot in 158 in the state fair championship and not crack the top five he's a very talented trotter and they are at the post and the gate is rolling for tonight's third race the county fair challenge here they come Get a real job is off stride. The rest are off and trotting. BC's legend goes for the lead. OG's ranger is right there. An expeditious offer down toward the inside. February 1st made a break. Insaner made a break. Get a real job is still off stride. And BC's legend just made a break at the entry to the first turn. Expeditious offer leads them toward the quarter by one length. OG's ranger will get a good trip in second. Two lengths back to New Tucker in third as they race by the quarter. Then slide in, TC Wyoming, followed by Insaner, BC's legend, February 1st, and get a real job, the distant trailer. 30 and three-fifths for the opening quarter. Expeditious offer is on the lead by a length as they move up the back stretch. BC's legend is second by a length and a half. Here comes TC Wyoming. He's third up on the outside. He's second up on the outside. And TC Wyoming will have the lead before the half. Expeditious offer is now second against the rail. Here comes slide in the other part of the entry to challenge OG's Ranger for third. New Tucker behind that pair in fifth. Then in Saner, February 1st, BC's legend who's off stride and get a real job as trailing and still on a break. They got the half in 102 flat, and the entry is 1-2. Slide in on the outside, gets the lead a half length. TC Wyoming is second by a length. Expeditious Offer is racing in third. New Tucker comes to the outside fourth. He's four lengths off the lead, followed by OG's Ranger, February 1st, then Insaner, who is off stride. At the three quarters, slide in, opens up on a two-length lead. TC Wyoming second by three parts of a length. New Tucker third, then Expeditious Offer in February 1st, who's made up a lot of ground to be fifth three quarters and 132 and two slide in leading his stable mate tc wyoming by two lengths turning for home then new tucker on the outside here comes tc wyoming to try to catch slide in expeditious offer moves up the rail in third they're inside the eighth pole new tucker is fourth and february 1st is fifth slide in leads at a half length but tc wyoming is right alongside and new tucker is still coming on the grandstand side tc wyoming is getting up however tc wyoming wins at three parts of a length new tucker second and slide in finish third the time 203 flat I want to say thanks to Betsy Carter of Carmi who is our ringmaster at the DeCoin State Fair and she is leading the newest county fair challenge champion into the winner's circle folks how about a hand for TC Wyoming with Mr. Buddy Graham Buddy Graham is joined by his daughter-in-law, Shelly, and his grandchildren, Cole and Seda, in the winner's circle. And John Rednauer, Jr., the manager of the DeCoin State Fair, is going to present the County Fair Challenge plaque. The result is official. 1A, 3, and 1, with a 1-3 exact of paying $189.20.
Let's talk to Shelly Graham, the daughter-in-law of the winning driver. Shelly, how old are these two children now? 13 months. 13 months. You know, Buddy's a man of few words, and uh, so we're going to let him go back to the barn area, but I kind of get the impression maybe these grandkids maybe even get to Buddy's heart a little bit. Is that the case? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's not trying to make them into horsemen just yet, is he? Kind of. Kind of? Yeah. <laughs> well, in the winter circle, we might get them hooked on that, that's for sure. And John Redenauer, Jr., you just congratulated Buddy Graham. John, wanted to ask you something. Last night, first time in 81 years, we've had night racing at DuCoin. I saw a smile on your face, and I could tell you were pleased with how things went. Crowds are up. We're betting a lot more money. Um, we even had some long shots come in. We've got um, tonight, and then we'll be back to night, uh, daytime racing Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, we're going to try to break that world record here. We had a 151 last night, which was great for the first night. And we're going to have some outstanding racing, that's for sure, throughout the rest of the week. Folks, would you do us a favor? If you are enjoying night racing at DuCoin, would you let our manager, Mr. John Redenauer, Jr., know it, folks? Thank you, John.